All right, so here's our plan. Kay's here. It's a little rainy outside, as you may or may not have noticed. We're gonna ride this bus from the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista, free of charge, after a little uh, technical snap through that I couldn't figure out. Call me, I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple, I'm just really stupid. Again, this is what I do, guys. I make these mistakes so you don't have to. We're gonna ride over to Magic Kingdom in the rain. Hope it stops. We're gonna wander around. We don't have any plan. May ride a ride, an attraction. Pardon me. Uh, may not look. Sun's coming out. Eyes off on cue. Let's go have some fun. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. This guy didn't get the do not enter memo. Driving's hard, guys. This is an odd perspective because we're so close to the front. We're like, and there's no hood. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna head out and hit things, but I'm sure this guy knows what he's doing. We may be trouble in paradise, guys, here. We may be stopping at several hotels. I didn't realize that. It's okay, we're not in a rush, so it doesn't really matter. But, for future reference, I guess they're not, they're not, right, they're not jumping back and forth just to Magic Kingdom for me, which I know is shocking. But let's see. Silence is everywhere, and you're not. One cool thing about taking this shuttle is the buses are fabulous. We made it, sort of. Not a bad ride, what time is it, Bubba? 3.29. All right, so almost exactly a half an hour yeah. to get here. But we are way out. I thought it might drop us off at the, but there's Bubbles, so who cares? That's right. Easily distracted. Bubbles being distracted. Um, so we're out like in the red-haired stepchild uh, parking. Uh, I thought it would drop us off like where the other buses do. It does not. Which is okay because it was free. Everything, man. Yin and yang. It's a balance, right? We didn't pay a dime for that. It was a nice bus. It could have used some air conditioning. That's my biggest complaint. Mm -hmm. But if you laugh because the resort buses, if you stay like at All Stars, number 45, and Polynesian, you're number one. Boy, you were way out here. <laughs> this, is, this is times a million. But I haven't been on the ferry in a while because we've been either staying somewhere close or getting dropped off up front. So it'll be fun. It's been a long time. What do you think will be faster? Every time someone subscribes to my channel, a monorail pilot gets his wings. All right, heading into the old ferry docks. Been a long time. Castle, I can see a castle off the distance. I like to announce that when the That's kids. That's so pretty. You know, so here's, here's the thing. If you can't travel by boat or by monorail, then here is the pecking order of what's good. Minivan, top of the list. Right to the front door, courteous, friendly drivers. It's got polka dots like mini on it. It's called a minivan. You know, it's often not a van at all. Number one, without a doubt, not even blinking. Number two, your lift, right? Because 13 bucks right up to the front, little walk, not as close as the minivan, but quicker. You know, I think it's like 15 minutes for us to get down there. And number three, park buses, Disney operated. And number four, 
uh, the hotel shuttles. But I will say, you know, coming from where we were at the Wyndham, you need to know that you are the first stop for Magic Kingdom, second stop for Epcot. And it did stop at like four other hotels, but it was really brief. Again, my only complaint about that, besides being this far out and now we're waiting for a ferry boat, is just need a little AC. The vents were not broken. But it really wasn't bad. And again, it was zero dollars. So that's, that's, two, that's three coffees in comparison to a lift. That's three Joffrey's Shaken Jamaicans, which you, if you were following along at home, I love. So I mean, that's a pretty good deal. So you're going to have to make some sacrifices, dude. Nothing's perfect. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. Probably do it tomorrow. It's nice when you're not in a rush. We're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. When you need to be there right when the park opens to rope drop and get Peter Pan in before it goes crazy. That would be stressful. It's going to, it's worth the money. It's going to save you the time. Oh, we don't have anything else to do. I enjoyed my $2 bus ride from uh, the airport, which I'll put that video up here if you haven't seen it. So now, bus ride's over. Ferry boat's coming. Castle. Welcome aboard the Admiral Joe Fallon. We will be arriving at our destination in just a few moments. On our way, we will travel one mile across the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon, which took almost three years to excavate. I don't want to start a war here, but so far, I don't hate it. I do think they should have matched the roof line. I think do whatever you want, but match the yeah, roof line over there. Because yeah. it's definitely different. Meridian, different, but subtly different. Polynesian, different, but drastically different. But I don't fear change. I'm sure it's going to be great. I think the only mistake I've seen, I think they're maybe making, is they really are going to need a bigger pool. The pool there now is too little. They're adding a bunch more people who are going to want to use that pool. What are they going to do? I don't know. You should ask Joe Fowler. What would he say? And look what we got here. Right here on the Admiral Joe Fowler. Let's go fly a kite. Sherman Brothers are everywhere. Old Joe Fowler. I love Florida because we went from this to this amazing sunshine. All within like an hour. In the pool, typhoon. Perfect. You know what I'm all right, here's the fun thing about being us. Rolling with the punches here. Uh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of mistakes. And again, I'm here for you, right? So, if, and I may just let me move put myself in the center because I may make this into a reel. If you buy the magic, the three-day park pass, which is really good deal doesn't include Magic Kingdom. You can't get in there. They won't let you. So, we were gonna go to Magic Kingdom. I have an annual pass. Kate is not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we went, um, got the monorail, came over to Contemporary. And we thought, hey, let's go eat at Steakhouse 71. Haven't been there yet. No reservations. Walk-up list is not available. Negatives. Positives is that they're not open, and I think that's why. So I'm hoping that at five o'clock, uh, we'll go downstairs, we'll walk around here, try not to spend any money, which is difficult, and then go downstairs and, and hopefully, if nothing else, just sit at the bar, grab some food, and then I think take the monorail the long way over to Epcot and uh, try to get on soaring. So you gotta roll with the punches. Like I guess, maybe that's what living here is like, is you get to just kind of make these plans and then break them. In the meantime, I do love a little Disney shopping. Mm 
every single time with that monorail. We stopped by Steakhouse 71 and had a good meal. It was, uh, can I get any Mary Blair? No, it was good. It had, we had a burger and some crab cakes, which were clearly the winner. And some onion rings. Had good company. Uh, they would not, let me move her a little bit more. There, there's a little Mary Blair in the background. Um, they would not, uh, seat us at a table. So we sat at the bar, which was great. And it was delicious and uh, quick. So now we're heading, oh, look, that's two in a row without even hitting stop. Um, and so we're heading over. Now we're gonna ride the monorail to the ticket and transportation. Some people call it the TTA, I think. And then after that, we're gonna go to Epcot. Take the long, the long monorail ride. So come on, let's go do that. I'm glad I'm getting all this out of the way now. So, here's another little pro tip. If you buy the three-day, three-park ticket, you can only go to each park once. So, we thought we could come back to Epcot and wander around because we couldn't get into Magic Kingdom because it doesn't include Magic Kingdom. And lo and behold, we've already been to Epcot. So, they were very lovely about it. But now, I think we're going to go to Hollywood just to say we went to Hollywood and use the ticket. Now, on the other side, I really don't care, and here's why because it was actually cheaper. Like the original plan was just to come, for her to come into the park one day, yesterday at Epcot, and that was it, we're gonna do other stuff. And then when I went to buy the ticket for that, I thought, well, we might wanna add on another day, so let's look at deals. And that's when I saw the three-day deal, which was about 30 bucks cheaper than two one-day tickets. So I'm still saving money, even if we don't go to a park today. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna go into Animal Kingdom and do some stuff, so I'm still way ahead. But just in case you're wondering how to do this correctly, do not assume any of this. You cannot go to Magic Kingdom. You cannot go to 
Uh, we're looking at bus schedules now. What do you got? Where are we going? What number? Huh? Hollywood Studios is 11. Oh, there's a bus to Hollywood Studios. That's good. So we're going to take a bus to Hollywood Studios. I didn't think they even had one. All right, so back to exciting park ticket news. You cannot go to Magic Kingdom on this three-day, three-ticket pass. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put it down here. You cannot use go to the same park twice. So you could not buy it and go to Epcot three days in a row. You must use it at three different parks. I, I wish they would make this more complicated because it's so easy to figure out how to do all this from middle of the night as you're going to bed. It's me. It's really me. I'm sure it's very specifically stated. I just don't read things. There were no pictures. I need pictures. I'm more of a picture guy. Like I'd read more Kurt Vonnegut if he had pictures. They were, yeah. Doing this for you. It's all for you to help you with your trip. You know, it's so cool that this is absolutely based off the theater from Xanadu, which I can't remember the name of in real life. It burned down. It was in California. Xanadu. Mau, mau, mau. No, I won't. I won't do that to you. I was gonna sing. Don't, don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. Kirsten Wig. She looked that up. I'll put that little bit of that in here. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see if Kay can actually get into this park. <laughs> be cool. This will be she's got two strikes. I just wanna say welcome to Disney. I just wanna say welcome to Disney. <laughs> two strikes. Bottom of the ninth. Base is loaded. <laughs> we really just need a bunt here. Hello. Is she gonna do it? No. I like your matching band. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I've never seen it. Oh, it's um, we've had it for a little while, but Are yeah. Are letting you in? Hey, you do. Yes, this time for the win. <laughs> Kay got into it a worked. park. Half a woman. <laughs> it worked. All right. I have no idea what we're gonna do here. Dessert. We're gonna find something to eat, but I don't know what. And uh, and maybe go ride Soren. Oh wait, wrong part. That's not gonna happen. That was the original plan. Uh, I don't know. I should probably turn this stupid camera off and uh, and take a look around and see what's available to us. Enjoy Main Street, which is not Main Street. Sunset Boulevard. I told you I wasn't good at this. Alright, made a little executive decision. Got a little photo pass done. We're gonna go do star tours because it's five minutes. So that way, as long as we get a ride in, Kay feels like she's gotten her money's worth. So I, I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> After all the, the danger and maybe the radiation from the amount of times that Kay's touched her magic band to that thing. And <laughs> it's got a big red X and it was embarrassing and they called security and they notified the president and someone's ice cream melted. It was Men a bad day. Black escorting me. Yep, all our memories have been erased. Hi, I'm Tater. I'm starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, let's go check out some stars. I just don't want to see the space whales again. I've seen the space whales so many times. And I know it's new, but I want to... I, I, I kind of want to see Hoth every time. So to be fair, I do want the same thing. I just don't yes. want their same thing. All right. We got Star Tours out of the way and did not see the space whales. It was Lando. I've never seen that ending. It was awesome. And then it lands here in, uh, in Black Spire Outpost, which we're almost at. We're going to stop a little tour from our, our buddies from Jim Henson because Charlotte hates these guys. So I don't get to do it very often. So if she's not around, then it's, it doesn't have to be a Muppet free zone. I don't know why she hates it. She says they're creepy. She says her eyes are creepy. She might not be wrong, but I still love them. Here we go. All right, so now we're gonna go look for something desserty. We've done Muppets. There's old Miss Piggy in all her glory. We're gonna find something good for dessert. Maybe see if Mickey's Runaway Railway is our next close right now. 
Katie didn't want to wait for Rise, which I'm okay with. I'm trying to get both those things in there and I keep moving it the wrong way. I want to run it. There we go. Um, so yeah, so we're going to walk through Hollywood and find a treat. And then, uh, and then I think back to the hotel. And then tomorrow, next video is going to be Animal Kingdom and things you never do there. So we're going to skip all the big stuff and do all the weird things that normally people miss. That's what makes it a half day park. So I've done the exciting half. That sounds bad. Everything's exciting. But I've done the, the thrilling, I don't know. I've done, I've done the half most people do. Now we're going to do the other half. Trails, gorillas, that kind of thing. Maybe Rafiki's village, that little train ride. We don't do that much anymore. So hang around and uh, let's see where the rest of this even takes us. I've never pulled this rope, but I've always wanted to. Somebody else just pulled it and it didn't work. See, it says do pull rope. There's definitely something going on. I don't know. Whoever's down there doesn't want to be disturbed. Huh. Whatever they were doing, they were busier and could not be bothered with a rope pole. All right, we're gonna go by and be disappointed at uh, the primetime diner because they used to serve milkshakes in the bar and then would get them to go. But last time we were here, they said, no, no, no. We're gonna try again anyway. Maybe it was just a, a surly bartender who was having an off day. So we're gonna go in and see if they will give us Kay's peanut butter and jelly milkshake right here at 50's primetime cafe though we're pretty sure we know the answer i guess technically it's over here in the tune-in lounge just like my grandma's house Here's Kay. Let's see. No milkshakes. I feel like Disney always has a good reason, but it's still disappointing. I don't like to hear no. But if you haven't eaten there, it is pretty fun. We've done it a couple of times. It's good meatloaf. Grandma's cooking, and then they'll poke you with a fork if you put your. Uh, your elbows on the table, right? And if you don't finish your veggies, they'll bring them out as your dessert in ice cream. With whipped cream. So be prepared for that. Never been to Hollywood and Vine. I think it's a buffet, which is why we skipped it. I just don't eat enough for buffets. But I feel like I have to try everything at least once. So it's on the list. So we're gonna walk out. We're gonna go grab a bus to Disney Springs, find a fascinating dessert there. And then uh, in the night, in the pool, in the hot tub. There's some balloons. Yeah. Duck crossing. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> These guys are having a good time. Hey, here's a photo pass. Big proponent of the photo pass. Not just because I paid for it. But I will tell you that that's some money I did not spend for a long time coming to Disney. And I wish I had. Because I keep little folders of each year and each trip. And I really, really like them. I mean, look, obviously, there's a lot of me to see since I started doing these videos and stuff. But with the kids and all that, you know. A lot of pictures of me not in it or of me really close like this in some kind of selfie. So it's fun. I also take it as a personal hobby to take other people's pictures uh, when they're trying to struggle. So that, so the dads have a picture of themselves too. Or single moms. Who knows? Bye, thanks. All right, off to the buses. So we're having a little adventure. We, uh, we left Hollywood. Not a... Not a bus to Disney Springs to be found. Doesn't mean it wasn't there, just means we didn't find it. Now, at Kay's suggestion, which is a good one, we have taken a bus ride 
I thought it was pleasant. Kay was a little chilly. Over here to Saratoga Springs. I think Disney's first DVC location. And we stayed here in December. Here's videos for that. Just, just scroll down in the videos. They're there. And we are now over here and are going to walk around the Disney Springs. But we could also watch the drone show from here. Virginia? Where are y'all from? Mm -hmm. Massachusetts. No. I just made that up. I... Oh. Hey, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> Love Have a great evening. Bye. Yeah, we, we make friends wherever we go. This would be a cool spot to watch the drone show from, Bubbo. Maybe. This would be a pretty cool spot to watch the, the show from. Yeah. You want to start? I think pretty soon. I think it's too far. Do you want to just sit down here and see what happens? All right, let's see how this works out. Look how beautiful at night. They do so many things right, and I think that's why we keep coming back, right? That's why I'm willing to come down here once a month, and don't get tired or bored because there's always some new path or some weird adventure to have. Or it's kind of why I like screwing things up. Maybe that should be the theme of my channel. Yeah, yeah. We were talking last night. I make these mistakes, so you don't have to. Mm -hmm. But maybe I should really lean into it. Like, there's probably a better way to get from Hollywood to Disney Springs. I just didn't see it. And I wasn't going to spend my life looking for it. Let serendipity be your guide. It does take some planning. You do want to plan. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes these happy little asides are really what makes the trip. Tell I met Kay. So see, there you go. I'd wanted to see what it was like from over here last time when I came and did it, and now I know. And it's not the best spot to see it. Some of the figures, it's obviously made to be facing the other direction, right? But it's still pretty cool. And I mean, gosh, it didn't have to make shapes. It's just flying lights, I think is pretty neat. But I'm simple. So see, if you follow the rules, if you stick with your plan, you might miss out on something like that or find something way cool. It's difficult to know. I feel like, procrastination and failure for the win. That's my motto. I'm gonna have to put on a t-shirt, I think. What's this about, do you suppose? That's a little scary. I can kind of see why. No one should go down there. I'm scared, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. That, that was frightening. What's back there? Who knows? I don't wanna find out. We stopped by Amaretz and and I mean, Disney Springs is busy tonight. It is, it's a lot of people. In fact, it's so busy that I got an alert on my app that traffic patterns be prepared for delays. So we wanted to get a little treat, had a little Mickey bar, and then we went over to Amaretz to get some cakes. And I'm a, look, there's, where is it? Where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, there he is, Eddie Maserati. That guy's a legend. He's not dancing, taking a break, the music. Anyway, we're in there, got a couple things, and I, I don't know, people tell me, hey, it's this much, so I paid it. And then as I was walking out, I was thinking to myself, well, that's not right. The guy just ran up the wrong thing. No big deal. All I do is make mistakes. So always the right person to have something like that happen to. Go back in, oh yeah, sorry, I hit the wrong button. No problem. Give me a refund. I'm like, well, you paid for the other one. 
no, it's okay. I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. But always above and beyond. I just love good customer service. Now we're gonna go on Basin because would it be a it's trip a here without? I have to make a pilgrimage. It is a pilgrimage of soap. I'll take one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these. Yeah. And I need these, and I'd like to have those, and those, and those. I have kind of a love-hate huh. relationship with Basin, because while I do love the products, the soap in the shower doesn't last very long. But I do like coming in here and washing my hands. It's possible I've been left alone in Basin. I've lost my adult. Oh no, there she is. over here. What'd you find? Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Just so many amazing primary colors. I do like this store. I mean, let's not. I just, I like washing my hands. I think that's fun. Yeah. All right. I made it up the stairs. <laughs> Going down is a little easier. So that was fun. Good night. Good day. I can't remember how we did this. Did we do it in two videos or just one? Well, if it's two videos, thanks for watching the second one. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. Like, subscribe, share. If it's only one video, I'm really glad you stayed. And uh, please support the channel uh, just by liking and subscribing. Throw a comment. Please, somebody, comment. Say something. Hey, you're terrible. Hey, your hair's weird. Hey. I hate that shirt. Whatever. Hey, Something. more of your wife, Kay. <laughs> yeah, that, but let's not get creepy about it. <laughs> um, no, I just want to know how I'm doing. I want you to tell me uh, what you think. Because really, it's getting to a point that it's, yeah, I'm having fun with a camera, but I want to do something for you. So let me know if I can help you in any way or tell you something or find out something about the park. Otherwise, stick around, watch me screw it up. Have a really big day.